Hi, I am Pavan Dukal, Advocate Supreme Court of India, specializing in cyber law. Today, we talk about trolling. We've all been hearing so much about trolling. In fact, the chances are that somebody in our group must have been trolled at one point of time or the other. But why is trolling becoming so important? This is so because people believe that they are anonymous online and they can continue to do what they want to do, uh, which they cannot do in a civilized world. Trolling as a phenomenon refers to uh, exercise when the troll is targeting you for the purposes of harassing you, for purposes of causing mental trauma, anxiety and all kinds of disturbances. And this can be done in a variety of ways. A troll can write defamatory, derogatory, abusive, humiliative content about yourself, could actually post extraneous or irrelevant content and prejudicially impact the way how people perceive you. Well, technically speaking, trolling is a crime in some jurisdictions, though in a number of jurisdictions it's not yet a crime. If one looks at India, one finds that trolling is not a dedicated offence defined under the Indian cyber law. However, trolling can still be brought within the ambit of a variety of other existing offences. These include uh, not just stalking, but also sexual harassment, criminal intimidation, attempting to insult the modesty of a woman, and of course, offences pertaining to violation of privacy of the target victim. The question is, what happens when trolling takes place and what should you do? What should be your response mechanism? The answer is very clear. You cannot afford to be silent. You will have to report the matter. You can walk to your local police station and report the matter to the police and any police inspector will investigate the matter. If you don't want to go to the police station, you can report it on the website of your state police. In addition, there are a variety of other options. You must immediately report and complain to the service provider, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter or Instagram, because the Facebook uh, or the Twitters of the world as service providers have the distinct wherewithal to try to not just identify the identity of the troll, but also for the purposes of controlling such trolling exercises. In addition, the Ministry of uh, Women and Child Welfare have themselves started up a helpline. You can go and report there. You can also go to the National Commission of Women. The fact is, you have to be consciously alive that you should not just remain quiet. At the end of the day, trolls get massively encouraged the moment you do not respond. So, while trolling will be continuing to be an integral part of social media existence, once you know what your rights are under the cyber law, that's the reason uh, you would be in a much better position to actually deal with these scenarios. And of course, there are some websites which are available at the description of this video where you can actually specifically report your complaints. That's all in this uh, discussion about trolling. Till the next time, it's bye-bye.